Here I'm showing version uh, uh, 1.32 of the Liquid Foot Plus Series Editor. Connected to the editor, I have a Liquid Foot 12 Plus running version 1.31 firmware. Connected to the Liquid Foot controller is an AxeFX Ultra connected via a 7 pin uh, MIDI cable, and that's the wiring. And then I have a USB cable going from the Liquid Foot controller to the PC, which this editor is connected to. Okay, this video is going to talk about a new feature that's found in the editor as of version 1.32. And the first thing we'll notice is that uh, there are some new buttons on the uh, preset screen, so that gives you an indication that you have the new version uh, pat, uh, patch matching mapping. So the newest feature included is external device sync, and external device sync is the ability to uh, communicate with external devices like effects units. Um, as I said, I have an Axe Effects Ultra already plugged in. And we're going to go ahead and uh, auto load and auto program the entire liquid foot um, from uh, scratch and do it in record time using this new feature set. So I have a uh, liquid foot that's completely unprogrammed. So let's do a couple things to start our. Uh, session here. The first thing I'm going to do is tell it what mini channel I have the Axe Effects plugged into, and that happens to be MIDI channel one. And so now, if I go back to the preset screen, you'll notice that it went from a gray bubble to a green one, which means that it knows it can start communicating and downloading. And you'll notice that the, in the file menu, the external device sync is now active as well. So it knows we have a device. If you have an Axe 2 as an example, then you'd add a 2 uh, to your personality name. Okay, so we're going to program presets very quickly, and we're going to program IA switches automatically. So let's go ahead and just set up uh, maybe three of them. So I'm going to sync IA slot 1. Let's call this uh, delay. And we'll go ahead and select delay as the effect. And that's it. We're done programming IA slot 1. Let's go to IA slot 2, and we'll program in a chorus. So let's go ahead and select a chorus. And just for fun, you understand how we're doing this. Let's go ahead and program in a drive. Maybe we'll call it drive 1. And let's go ahead and find a drive. OK, so I just very quickly notice there's no programming. The, so the controller is not going to do anything yet, but we've set up a map for the computer to do the rest for us. Okay, so very simply, let's go into our external device sync. And here we have a download already um, from when I had done a sync just before this video. But uh, let me show you how I did that. So I, I click, I'm going to do a selective load. I'm going to start at patch one inside the Axe Effects and then go to, well, for right now, let's just take 22. And uh, in fact, if I grab those 22 names, it's uh, downloading all 22 and it's done. Uh, if you ask for the names, it'll show you the names that are in the liquid, uh, in the Axe Effects rather. So I'm going to go ahead and actually load those into the system. You'll see it grabbing all the data from the liquid foot controller straight through to the XFX and back. And now I'm done. So I've loaded from patch 1 to 22 inside the XFX into the editor, but not into our um, programming of the editor. So we set up some IA switches. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and, and tell it that I wanted to uh, uh, auto program let's say 1 through 30 and you'll see how fast it does it and I'm gonna have it automatically program the IA switches I'm gonna have it automatically program the presets I'm gonna have it automatically program the default effect states on or bypassed and so on or not present and I'm gonna also have it program the preset names for me so I'm gonna hit click you can see that it just finished it doesn't take long and so now I have inside my presets for the liquid foot, I now have my presets by name. It programmed the program change command automatically for me. 
and you'll see down here that it took the IA switches so IA switch 1 is delay IA switch 2 is chorus and IA switch 3 is drive so you can see for this preset I've uh, it's bypassed the chorus it's turned on the delay and it's not using a drive in this patch and you'll see as I scroll down here the information changes so this is very powerful now we're basically programmed if I go to the IA slots you'll see that it also programmed my on and off messages with the proper um, controller change numbers so it grabbed the data out of the AxeFX it knows what CC number and automatically programmed it for us so we're basically done uh, now of course you would fill up all your IA slots with your effects and you would probably tell it to do all 300 or 380 of the um, uh, presets and that's basically it so one more feature that's worth noting is uh, something I call patch mapping and this allows you to tell the liquid foot preset what patch within an external unit it should point to so uh, I'm going to tell pat, uh, preset number one in the liquid foot to always point to patch 13 in the XFX. So I'm going to double click on that and you'll see it drops down the number uh, if I know the preset number on the, in this case, the Axe Effects, then you could just pick it off of here. But if you want to look at all the names, then go ahead and click one. So that's it. Now I'm done. Now multiple presets can point to the exact same uh, patch uh, in the Axe Effects. So here we have um, preset number two pointing to eight. And uh, we could do the same thing here and have uh, uh, this point to something else so now watch what happens so we've changed some mapping here and but the IA states are now wrong aren't they so let's go ahead and now we already have our presets loaded in from the X into the editor so all we really need to do is um, reset each of these parameters and tell it to basically just reprogram uh, we don't need to do the name but I'll just do it anyway and show you how fast it is so that's it we're done so now if I come back out we'll see that we changed uh, preset 3 to point to patch number 49 and you'll notice that it updated the um, IA switches so now they match whatever was in preset 49 and so on so you have a lot of flexibility a preset can map to none which means that during an auto load this preset will be ignored and nothing programmed in it will be modified by the auto load system so you have a lot of power in uh, this mapping feature the liquid foot itself will remember this mapping so when you load the editor again it'll pull it off the liquid foot and create that one-to-one -one binding so there you go uh, very flexible and uh, very fast too I'll uh, show this on the way out here so if I go ahead and uh, I'm gonna grab all presets and uh, grab them off the fact sheet axe effects you can see that uh, the bar is ticking pretty quick at this point and it's going to grab 383 uh, presets so thank you very much